The next step is going to be setting up our BodyBug program. So we're going to sign in. at www.bodybug.com or we can also go to www.myapex.com put in our username And then we're going to scroll down to where we see a round button that says Open Program. We're going to click on Open Program, and it's going to have a pop-up window that's going to run us through getting started. The first thing is, is we're going to scroll down, and we're going to make sure that we don't have any medical issues that would continue to have us keep us from setting up the Body Bug program or participating in any kind of exercise program. If you don't have any of these issues, then go ahead and click Continue. Go ahead and read. This is our acknowledgement and acceptance of a waiver. Once you've accepted that, it's going to open up our program. Now we're going to go through four steps in order to set up our program. The first thing is going to be fill out our food preference questionnaire. This is going to be about 60 questions. Most of the questions you just want to answer very quickly. You really don't want to have to think about them. They're just going to help you to set up a food or a menu that's going to be based upon things that you like. Don't think too much about them. Just answer them. The answers are usually going to be always is one. 2 is sometimes, 3 is rarely slash never. And once we've completed that section, we're going to hit Done. And that's going to allow us to enter in our body parameters. And the next section is optional. You can either put in your resting heart rate, you can put in your body fat, you can even calculate your body fat percentage. And the skin dex is just a skin fold method, a method to determine what your body fat percentage is. If you're not familiar with it and you're working with a trainer, they probably will know it. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and hit Next. Then we're going to enter in if we're right or left-handed, if we are a smoker or non-smoker, and then what time we normally get up in the morning and go to bed at night. Now by selecting this, this is going to tell the body bug that if it doesn't see that you're wearing it at that time, that you are asleep. Otherwise, if you have it off for more than 20 minutes, it's going to ask you what you've been doing during that time. Go ahead and set the time zone, and then hit Next. Next, we're going to set up our body bug. So we're going to hit Go, and we're going to follow the prompts. We're going to first off to have to download and then follow the prompts as we install it. Now in the background what we want to do is we want to close out all of our all of our browser windows and once that's finished We're going to log back into our BodyBug account.
and we're going to register the armband. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, once again, pop our device, the sensor, out of the armband strap and wing by placing our hands below it, thumbs on the top, and press. We're going to take out our cable. We're going to plug that into the side of our port of our computer. And then we're going to plug it into our device on the USB port on the side. Once we plug it in, we'll notice that we're going to be installing driver software. And then we can go ahead, once it's been installed, hit register on band. And you'll notice that the pop-up now shows that we're going to put it on our right arm. In actuality, we're going to put it on our left arm. You'll also notice that you probably have to charge it. It takes about three hours to get a full charge on the body bug. The next step is going to be create your body bug program. We're going to click Go. And we're going to decide what type of program we want to create. Is it going to be weight loss, weight gain, maintenance, or are we going to go for some performance? Once we've decided, we can click Next. And we pick what we're going to set up for our program, and we're going to create it. One of the pages I wanted to highlight is, what is your current activity level? These initial indications will be the starting point that you're going to set for your calorie goals. Now, this is just a starting point. So, after a few days, you might find that you're burning more calories or less than what the current goal is set at. You can adjust those by going into the My Info tab and moving them up or moving them down. This section is our goal setting section. These sliders allow us to set our program for how much weight we want to lose in what period of time. The default 